to export payouts from uh, your Shopify store using Excelify app, you do it as usual. You open the apps and go to the Excelify app, and then you choose the payouts, uh, which is a new feature now. And uh, there you can also additionally choose to include the uh, transaction columns, which will add additional transactions to the same table. And then you can also set the filters by date range, where you just choose uh, from and to date, and also the relative date um, by days or by months, how many last full days or full months you want to include. Important thing here to notice is that since you import last, for example, you import one last days, it means that it will not ever include today. It will include just previous finished days. And this is uh, beneficial when you, for example, you need to get really the full uh, finished days, right? And so you can take like every last seven days and uh, don't cut your day in the middle, depending on when, when the export runs. Right, but for this example, I'll demonstrate to you how to how you can set up automated export from Shopify to Google Sheets, uh, so that you can basically analyze your data always up to date in your Google Sheets. So um, suppose we want to have the full data for the whole year. And uh, I can set up like 2019 uh, 01, 01. It's, it's like a first January 2019 till the 2019 December 31st. And it means that we will always include the whole year in this automated export. And here and the, the options we can select to schedule the export every day at midnight and repeat every day until cancel basically forever. And now here is important thing that we assign the custom file name for this payouts export. It's like, uh, for example, we can call it payouts. Um, and we choose not to zip the files because we want to use them in Google Sheets. And here under the Excelify CSV, uh, basically under the format, we choose the Excelify CSV format so that it's not the Excel, but it's the CSV. And we schedule the export. And actually since uh, the current day midnight is already passed, so it will actually schedule it to run today at midnight but since midnight is already passed so it will actually run it within a minute or so we can basically here open the history and schedule and look if it already exported or no okay actually we see that it's it's finished for today like uh, the next one is scheduled to run on, on uh, tomorrow at midnight but for today uh, we have already finished and we can just select this URL. We could download the file, but that's not uh, for this example. For this example, I want to show you how to automatically load them in Google Sheets. So we can right click here and choose uh, to copy a link address. And then and then we go to Google Drive and make the Google Sheet. And so we, we will call this as payouts. And here um, we, we just make the formula as import data and in in brackets and in quotes we put that link from the file and it's loading and it has imported uh, all the data which is in this payout CSV and so each time every day the application will run a new export in this file here you will always see the most recently exported data uh, this is just a sample data to play with and so we can start uh, making it pretty if we want for our accountants to see and so on and yeah uh, so you notice that the date and month are not very usable at this point because uh, 
like this was a CSV file and uh, Google Sheets don't know how to format them so you can choose the like this is the the date to format it as a date so it will be a proper date and for the month actually you have to uh, tell that it's a year and a month and this is a, just a special column where you can where you can use your uh, year and month to aggregate by months uh, your amounts so uh, we can choose more date and time formats and set it here to be as a year with full numeric year and and the month I usually like it like this because when you sort it alphabetically it will always uh, be sorted correctly so we apply and here you can see now we have the proper year and month and so for the for the rest of columns um, if we take a closer look here we have uh, this first part is the uh, columns for uh, the payouts themselves and and then comes the transaction columns so those are uh, basically the detailization of each uh, payout from what it consists of and uh, so here is the also the, the the transaction ID, the payout type, and uh, w the date and time with the time zone when when this transaction was processed, and again the currency for this transaction. Then there is amount, the fee uh, taken by Shopify, and the net 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 amount. And basically, uh, it's made so that it will always, like if you sum it horizontally, the amount plus the negative fee will give you the sum total of the net amount so you can basically sum those like if you make the total of those it, it will be the, the same as total of these and um, here you notice that there is a transaction type there is a charge and then there is a payout and usually the, like you can consider the the Shopify payouts is like your wallet and uh, when Shopify pay uh, payments sends you the money through the charges so it accumulates in your account and then they do the actual payout to your uh, bank account and then the, it goes as a negative amount and that's a different transaction type as a payout and this is the amount which shows here in the payouts uh, section as well and so usually uh, when you make the total of all transactions the net amount will always be zero because of course they deduce the trans the commissions the fees but uh, whatever accumulates to your account eventually gets transferred to your bank account and then you also can see here there is a like the source transaction id the source type and uh, this might be valuable also that there is a order transaction id and the order ID and even the order name from which this transaction came from and that way you can uh, basically link up your orders if you do for example orders export using Excelify you can link them up by order ID and by transaction ID and you can <coughs> like start making any other detailed uh, ana analytics reports by for example which customers ended up into your payout so and so on like and this is a, whether this was a test mode payment or if if it was a real payment yeah so um i know just just to show the example what you can do uh, with a pivot table like make a dynamic report which will always update you make the pivot table here and for rows we will choose month so here are all the months and for the values we will choose amount and summarize by sum and there you are you can make it bigger this is a total amount of uh, payouts per month and so always when you will open this file you will always see the most recent total which will get refreshed by this import data uh, function yeah just to bear in mind that uh, Google Sheets refreshes uh, this import data every hour so uh, after the midnight export will be done like w if you open just the file if you open it it will always refresh but if you don't open it then it, it will refresh automatically within one, one one hour yeah so that's how you can use payouts and uh, look for more tutorials and ask 
ask questions through support on our website if you have any questions. See you.